Congressman Mike Waltz, Republican from the state of Florida, joins me now. Sir, do you think Defense Secretary Austin should be fired? Well, Stu, let me tell you this. I've had 27 years of military experience, and from a platoon leader to the head of the Strategic Bomber Command to the head of the Pacific Fleet, if they disappeared for a week, didn't tell their superior officer, didn't tell their deputy to assume those critical duties, I guarantee you Austin would have fired them because it's so basic and fundamental uh, to the military chain of command. So I think he should hold himself to the same standard uh, and, and resign. But, Stu, if Biden didn't fire him after the Afghanistan debacle, True. I don't expect to see any kind of level of accountability. But apparently, he does need to take attendance at his cabinet meetings. But i, I got to say, it's highly unusual for a man of his experience in the military to decide not to inform his superiors. I, I can't imagine a reason for that. I, I, I know you can't get in his head, just, but what reason could he have? And to lie to his right. subordinates. The number three official in the Pentagon was told that he was going to work from home that week. So it, it's not just not informing, it's actually misinforming. It's dereliction of duty. And I'll tell you, if an ICBM is launched from an adversary, we have 15 minutes to get the Secretary of Defense, the generals on the line, to make a recommendation to the Commander-in-Chief of how to respond. Chinese hypersonics cut that timeline even tighter. So it's, it's just unacceptable. And if I may add one comment, it just looks like amateur hour in the White House, and that's not acceptable at all. Moving on, you're on the House Oversight Committee. The chair, James Comer, just released a resolution holding Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress after he skipped his deposition. Congressman, is Hunter protecting his dad? Well, that's one of the many things we want to, to find out. But I'll just, I'll just quote the ranking Democrat, Jamie, Jamie Raskin, who in 2022 said, uh, if subpoenaed, you show up and assert any privilege you think applies to specific questions, but you can't just blow off the proceeding. I know this is going to come up today. Steve Bannon, who was referred to the Justice Department, along with Navarro, and prosecuted agreed to testify publicly and Jamie Raskin said no you have to go behind closed doors and oh by the way in terms of precedent Don Jr. came and showed up behind closed doors five different times for three different Democrat-led uh, committees so what's good for the goose is good for the gander and we'll see when he when Hunter is referred to the Department of Justice will uh, will Garland then uphold a fair application of the law and prosecute him just as he did two years ago in Good prosecuting question. Bannon and Navarro. We'll see. So the question should be reversed. Will Biden's Justice Department protect the president's son, Hunter Biden? It should, I, I, I asked the question the wrong way around. That's the way it should be. Uh, well, Sir, that's the question we're going to put before him yes, next week. Are. Always a pleasure when you're on the show. You make things clear. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Stu.